Well, I think part of the reason that you have a, 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 a again, it's the compulsory royalty rate, but the part, I think if you let the free market run it, then you might have a, see the idea was that once a song is released, anyone can record it, because this goes back to like piano roll days. What they didn't want to have happen was I'm selling pianos and I have the rights to certain piano rolls. You're selling pianos and I've put out the, the songs, but you can't get the same songs on your piano, so your pianos won't sell. So they said, well, that's not fair. That would be a monopoly. So once the first, although the songwriter can control the first version, once the first version is out, anyone else can do it as long as they pay these pennies per song, whatever the number is. Like I said, right now it's 9.1 cents, but it's been lower. It'll go higher. So we hope. So, but that prevents me from saying, all right, I own the rights to this Beatles song or this Rolling Stones song or this Celine Dion song or this whoever song, and I'm going to let him record it, but I'm not going to let you record it, and I'm going to let that group record it, but not that group. I can't do that. Right now, as long as they pay me the statutory rate, they can record it, and a lot of people can record it. So it, it, the idea was to prevent anyone from controlling who could just re-record the song. Um, so I... The problem with, if you left it totally free market, was not only the monopoly issue, but if I own Pretty Woman or I own Honky Tonk Woman, I own a valuable copyright, I can say to you, well, I want $2 a record from you and force you to pay me more. And of course, you could say to me, well, that's an unknown artist. I'm going to pay one penny for that. And I might have to agree to that. So instead of a three-quarter rate, the record labels might say, we're not going to pay you on any songs until we recoup our... our thing. So you need to have some kind of... I think, again, it, it acts a little bit like a minimum wage. There's going to be some kind of threshold. Everybody, no matter what job they do, is going to get at least this much money. Every, you know, song is going to have... This is going to be the kind of standardized rate we're going to pay. Now, in terms of new technology, there's been some complications because... Uh, particularly with uh, ringtones, for one. You know, they started out being just beep tones of songs and only the publishers were involved. Now the technology has advanced to the point where actual recordings, which brought the record label into play, and the publishers were arguing that, well, this is like a sync license in a movie because that compulsory license applies to recordings, you know, sound recordings, so records and such. But it doesn't talk about syncing it with a visual image. So commercials and movies and those kind of things, there is no set rate. You have to negotiate with the copyright holders. But in most cases, the copyright holders will be reasonable because they want their songs to be heard. It'll sell more records. Um, but you do have the power to say, no, I, you know, I'm holding out. I want a million dollars, or I'm not going to let you put it in your movie. And basically, you have to find another song. The powers that be in the technology and the cell phone area don't like that model for cell phones because it would limit what could be used as a ringtone. So, you know, they've lobbied really hard and the copyright office has pretty much agreed that they're going to treat ringtones as part of the Section 115 compulsory license issue, which means it may not be the same rate as a compulsory license, but they're going to set a rate and this is the same for webcasts. You know, was a, they're trying to work their way through these new technologies. And again, there's pros and cons. I mean, again, in some ways it protects the downside of saying we're going to pay nothing. Um, but it takes away the right from the copyright holders, be they publishers or songwriters, from controlling whether or not their songs can be used as ringtones. So that, that's where you know, they're still trying to sort those issues out.